like to play more soccer. Do you want to play more soccer? If you were to trade lives with anyone, who would it be and why? Easy, Atlas. Are you on my shoulders? Yeah, I might be a little bit above your shoulders. No! Oh, what's number one? Soup. What? I didn't know you liked soup too. I was always the soup lady. Wait, what's your favorite soup? Hi guys, it's Audrey and today I'm here with a special guest, Tyler. So today I'm here with Ty because in my last video where I asked my brother Jake some juicy questions I've never asked him before, everyone in the comments wanted to see Ty in a video. So I was like, okay, I've come up with some crazy, juicy, tea spilling questions for my youngest brother Ty to answer and hopefully we'll all get to learn something new. I don't think I've ever asked Ty these questions before, so it'll be very interesting, but if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I have filmed more videos like this before with my other brother, Jacob, and my sister, Jordan, and my husband, Spencer. So, we've learned the tea from literally almost everyone in my family, except for my parents. So if you want them in a future video, comment down below. <laughs> All right, Ty, are you ready for question number one? <laughs> yes! All right, so as I was reading the comments for today's video, a lot of people said they wanted this with Ty, and the number one question I saw was, Tyler, what do you look for in a girl, in a crush? What do you look for in all the ladies as your 12-year-old self? <laughs> what? So, would you rather have the girl be like more adventurous, like more like, likes to go out and have fun with friends, or would you want like a girl that's like more stays at home and likes to game and like do crafts and stuff? Adventurous? Oh, adventurous. All right, so we've learned that Ty wants more of like an adventurous, outgoing lady, which I kind of did not expect, like I kind of expected that, but I also kind of did not expect that because I mean, Ty is very adventurous, but also he loves a good like chill out stay, like chill stay at home video game day. But I mean, get you a girl that can do both, you know? <laughs> Anyways, before we move on to question two, peep my merch that I'm wearing. Oh! So guys, as you may have known, if you follow me on all the social medias, I have spilled the tea a little bit on Instagram. But I do have my own clothing line coming out November 2nd, so make sure to go shop it. More details will come on my main channel at All Around Audrey, so make sure to check out that video in the future. But yeah, get yourself some comfy clothes, some fun stuff for this upcoming Christmas, or just to spoil yourself. Anyways, let's get on to question two and see what Ty's answers are. Okay, Ty, what are your plans for the future? Hmm, that's actually a really good question. <laughs> yeah, Ty also did not know any of these questions beforehand, so I'm really putting him on the spot because these are all a surprise for him. Probably live in a tropical place. Oh, a tropical place. You can like probably surf. Surf? Bro, this sounds like Jordan. <laughs> That's, I did not expect that, honestly. I am learning new things already. Okay, question number three is, what is something you wish you would have done? Well, I would like to play more soccer. You wanna play more soccer? Okay, question number four. What is your biggest strength and your biggest weakness. So one of my weaknesses is that interviewing. I'm not very good at answering questions. <laughs> I also feel that because as you know, well, maybe you may not know, but in my family, no one likes phone calls except for my dad. My dad loves phone calls. Um, but I also am like very nervous whenever I have to like talk to someone over the phone or like an interview or something like that or a Zoom call. I always get super nervous. So I totally feel you on that one. Like public speaking is actually one of my biggest fears just because like not the fact that I don't think I will do good, but the fact that I just know that everyone's staring at me is kind of intimidating. So that's, uh, is that how you feel? Yeah. So, okay, on the flip side, what do you think you're really good at? It could be like a sport 
or it could be like a certain video game or like a skill that you have that maybe not a lot of people know about or even just like a, like I'm very kind or something like that, like a trait. Picking up new sports, I say, because yeah. I just started playing pickleball and I think I'm really good at it. True, I do remember that during the summer we played pickleball quite a few times and also from some of my past videos where I went shopping for a certain color, we bought so many pickleball ball things that now I have like probably three stacks of them. So we definitely need to go play pickleball some more. But yeah, you are pretty good at picking up on sports like soccer and pickleball. And like literally, you, you probably could do any sport better than me. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, next question. If you were to trade lives with anyone, who would it be and why? Easy. Atlas. Atlas? <laughs> Atlas is always happy. So, probably switch lives with him. True, Atlas is very spoiled, um, and he just has like the good doggy life, you know? Like, <laughs> he doesn't have any responsibilities, he gets to go on walks, he gets treats, like maybe, I did not think about the dogs, but honestly, that's a good answer, and I would probably choose even, even Logan, Logan and Atlas would have a pretty good life, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I would totally trade lives with them too. Okay, next question is, what has been your favorite age and why? Favorite age? My favorite age is 10 because I finally got into the double digits and I got a little bit taller. Ah! <laughs> okay, every time I go back home, Ty likes to measure himself against me and see how tall he's grown because I am almost the shortest in my family except for Ty. And Ty is getting pretty tall. Like, where are you at right now on me? Like, my shoulders? Are you at my shoulders? Yeah, I might be a little bit above your shoulders. No! <laughs> yeah, he's getting so tall and I'm probably gonna be the shortest one in the family. So, and I'm the oldest child. <laughs> Next question is, what is the nicest thing someone's ever done for you? I guess I have to say my dad, because he makes me a quesadilla every day while he teaches me school. <laughs> the boys are obsessed with cheese quesadillas, like specifically cheese quesadillas. They would have it literally for every meal of the day if they could. And I think when I came over there, dad said that he's like tried to switch it up and like put different things in the quesadillas. But all they really want, they live a simple life. They just want a cheese quesadilla. <laughs> Is that the best food ever? Mm, it's like number two. Oh, what's number one? Soup. What? I didn't know you liked soup too. I was always the soup lady. Wait, what's your favorite soup? Uh, it's a spicy type of soup. I don't know about. Spicy soup? I did not know that. Wow, I'm learning a lot. Ty likes spicy soup. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, next question. Well, I guess this kind of goes off the last one. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> Probably kimchi soup. <laughs> that, yeah, it is both a, like a drink and a food at the same time. It's both categories. It's the best of both worlds, so. Okay, and if you just have like normal soup as your chosen thing, you can have so many different kinds of soups as your only food. I really liked the answer that Jake gave for this question in the video where I asked him different kinds of questions, and I'm gonna repeat this one. So, you're stuck on an island. What three things do you bring with you? Someone who knows survival skills in our family. So, hmm, I would probably bring, uh, I'll take water and, and a lifetime supply of kimchi soup. Oh, <laughs> we, we are really all about this kimchi soup, is that what it is? It's, it's like a ramen type soup with kimchi flavoring. I don't even know what kimchi is, but it does sound pretty good. I don't know if I've ever had that before, but so you bring water, kimchi soup for life, 
and a knife. <laughs> I think you have a pretty good setup. I think you'll be able to survive for a little while. I don't know how long you'll be able to live off of kimchi soup before you actually get sick of it, but <laughs> I think that's a good starter. Um, but you wanna know what Jake said for his? What? Jake said he would bring a helicopter, fuel, and a guide on how to ride a helicopter. <laughs> so he can get off the island, I guess? Yeah, that's what he said. I thought that was so funny. So, oh man. But yeah, I would probably also bring like food, water, and then I don't even know. That'd be so hard to like just only pick three things. I like food, water, and a submarine. A submarine? Ooh. Yeah, that's a different way to get off the island. Besides being a YouTuber, what's a, another job you want to have in the future? A uh, soccer player? Oh, so like a professional soccer player? Once I learn how to do <laughs> get there. Yeah, you'd have to practice a lot for like to be on the soccer like pro, pro team. But I bet you could do it. Like if you started playing soccer on a team a lot and then you got really good, especially since like you're still really young, you have a lot of years that you could probably like get on like a high school team and then a college team and then make it, I don't know, like, I don't know anything about sports. I don't know if they have like a, I don't know what the NBA version of soccer is. <laughs> but you know, I think you could do it. And I would go to your soccer games. I'd be like, yeah, go short stop. <laughs> Actually, I want to know a question. Would you, like what position would you be on the soccer team? Ooh, what position? Yeah. Definitely not the goalie. Not the goalie? Why? That's what I would be. The goalie is the boringest part of the ball because... Yeah, I guess. I guess like you don't really have a lot of pressure on you until the ball comes your way and then the whole team's relying on you. Probably on like... I would say defense. Yeah, I, I think I would do that too if I wasn't. Actually, yeah, I probably wouldn't be the goalie, but I'd probably be like the protector of the goalie. That's defense, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know sport terms, guys. <laughs> okay, next question. What is the oldest memory you can think of? Oldest memory I can think of? I don't really remember anything in Florida. Really? Okay, so the oldest memory I have probably would be the, the first Disney cruise I've gone on when I was like five and I was in the arcade kids zone and eating mac and cheese with Jake. Oh yes, the famous Disney cruise mac and cheese. We talked about this so much ever since the cruise. Like we always would just be like, oh, I just wanna go back on the cruise and have their mac and cheese. Like we were so, obsessed with it. We thought it was so yummy. And then the last time we went on the Disney cruise, we tried the mac and cheese and it wasn't that good. Like what? So it must've been better in our memories. Maybe they changed the recipe. I'm not sure, but I do remember you guys playing in the arcade a lot when we went on the Disney cruise and you know, that was just a whole vibe. That was so fun. We should go again. All right, Ty, we're going back to the future again. Let's get rid of the past. We're now in the future. What type of dog or pet do you want when you are older? Oh, that's a good one because, hmm. I, if I was gonna do a dog, I'd probably do, actually, thought I was gonna, hmm. I want like a mixture of Logan and Atlas. Oh, like a, a Cocker Spaniel Mini Aussie? <laughs> actually, when we were um at the NASCAR race, didn't you see a dog that you said that you really wanted? What was that? It was um it wasn't a hound dog? Like with the one with the big ears? Oh yes, um a basset hound? Is that what you said? I think so. Here's a picture of a basset hound. This might have been what Ty wanted. Or a, a, like the little wiener dog. I'm not sure. I think it might have been a basset hound. But anyways, next question. We're going to the most Favorite topic ever that I think all kids want to talk about and that is school What is your favorite subject and your least favorite subject in school? Favorite subject in school and least favorite 
Least favorite, probably civics. Civics! And then my favorite, probably science. Oh! So why do you not like civics and why do you like science? Civics is boring. It talks about like the government and a lot like that. And yeah. science, it's like experiments and stuff. True. I, I do agree with you. I didn't really find government that interesting when I was in like middle school and high school. And science was fun for certain sciences. Like I didn't really like physics, not civics, physics. Well, actually I don't like both, so anyways. Uh, but I did find like other sciences really fun. Like, I mean, right now I'm in psychology, which is like a science, <laughs> but um, yeah different parts about it, but interesting. What is your most favorite place that you've traveled to? I would probably have to say Hawaii. Hawaii, you've been three times to Hawaii, which I think is so awesome. Which trip was your favorite? Actually, wait, I think I might actually have a, a favorite besides Hawaii. Oh, okay. Virginia. Virginia! Oh yeah, you should tell them what you did on your trip to Virginia. Uh, so we caught fireflies. We actually did catch fireflies. And we were in like a log cabin. And I stacked a really big card tower as well. Yeah, that was actually a trip a couple of summers back with um, my two brothers went, my mom and my uncle. and. What I think were we in Africa at that point? Might have been. Yeah, so that's why they were just there. Um, it was a mommy, sons, and uncle party. <laughs> but anyways, the boys loved it. And I went to Virginia one time and it is beautiful. So I can see how you guys really loved it because it is amazing there. All right, Ty. Last question. Are you ready for the most juicy, tea spilling, exposing question ever? I hope so. <laughs> okay, Ty. What's your ideal day like? <laughs> if it was in this house right now, it would be sitting downstairs all day gaming. But in Hawaii, surfing and playing on the beach. Oh. Would you rather be in Hawaii, like, playing on the beach and surfing, or would you rather be home gaming? Probably Hawaii. Yeah, I would I would agree with you on that one. I'd rather be in Hawaii, playing on the beach and surfing too. <laughs> Something you don't get to do that often, so it's kind of like, kind of fun, kind of adventurous to switch it up a bit. All right, well thank you for being my guest star on my channel, Ty, and for answering these very juicy questions. <laughs> New questions that I didn't know about Ty before, like he likes spicy soup? What? I've always liked spicy soup. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys like this video and you wanna see me do some more and make it, I guess we'll complete the series. <laughs> Comment down below if you want to see my mom or dad on the next one and comment some questions you want me to ask and I'll pull from your comments this time because I've been coming up with most of the questions except for Ty's first one about the ladies. So <laughs> comment the ones that you want to see my parents answer. Subscribe if you are new, like if you liked it and share with your friends because why not? <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!